Hi, I wanted to show you how you could record your PowerPoint presentations along with your webcam and chat when using GoToWebinar. Why do you want to do that? Well, I think it's helpful for people who are watching the webinar to be able, they really like seeing uh, the people who are talking to them. And of course, if you make an archive, they lose that. So the other thing they lose is if there's conversation and there's lots of questions that go back and forth, uh, they may, if you don't repeat the question, they may not know what you're talking about. So here's uh, what I'm talking about here. So you could keep the conversation recorded as well. So I'm going to walk you through how I do this uh, in PowerPoint presentation, and then I'm actually going to take you through and show you on the desktop. So I'll go through this twice, once with a overview of how you can do this. And the good thing is you don't need anything else other than the software you already have. So it, you just need to go to webinar, uh, Windows 10, of course, and PowerPoint. That's all you need. If you're using a Mac, I'm sorry, I don't know how to do this on a Mac. Have one, but I'm not sure how you do it. So this is just for Windows 10. So first thing you need to do in PowerPoint is you need to present in the Windows versus full screen. So by the way, you notice I got that laser pointer up there quick. Just hold down the control button on your keyboard and then click and then release the click and uh, then release the control button. So that'll let you quickly get the laser pointer up there. So in order to get to present to a window versus full screen, you need to click on the slideshow tab and then click on setup slideshow and then click down here where it says browse by an individual window versus um, as a kiosk or normally it's presented by a speaker full screen. The drawback to this, you may notice that over here on the multiple monitors is that the use presenter view has gone away. So you won't be able to see the presenter view if you like the presenter view and you won't be able to see your other slides. So you'll have to find some workaround for that because the only thing that's presented is this window that you see here. So then if you use two monitors, I think you could do this on one monitor, this method, but I've set it up for two monitors. So then you drag the presentation window to the monitor where you're going to present and resize it. And we'll walk through how to do that. Now you need to jump over to the GoToWebinar application and enable GoToWebinar to be seen by audience. And to do that, you need to click on File, Labs, and Go to Webinar during screen share, or sorry, include go to webinar during screen sharing. You may not have that um, that option on your version of go to webinar. If you don't, you should call the people at Citrix. They're very helpful and ask them if they can push you the latest version. Um, it's not just because you download the latest version doesn't mean you have the latest version. So you may be on an earlier build, and so they migrate by user. So you need to ask to make sure if you don't have that version, go ahead and ask, which isn't a bad idea anyways. So once you do that, you want to pop out the um, chat window and, of course, the webcam and resize them. Now on desktop, because one of the common complaints that people have for GoToWebinar is the fact that the chat window is too small. So what you can do is you can resize the magnification or adjust the magnification by going to the Windows desktop and adjust the size of the chat box by right clicking on the desktop and then this window will pop up when you click display center. So you right click and then right click, right click and then hit display settings and you need to come over here to where it says change the size of text apps and other items. It says 100 now. What you want to do is drag that to 175. Drag that to 175. Now it's kind of important that you need to close this window. So you need to X out of that window because if you don't uh, I've had it revert back to 100 on me. So it's not a big deal, but just close that window out and you're all good. So now what I'd like to do is walk you through uh, how I do this. Um, I'm going to show you um, both of my monitors and I'll walk you through the steps on doing it and actually show it for you. So, Okay, so I've switched to both monitors here. You can see I've got a panoramic that spans both monitors. There's themes you can download from Microsoft that do that. It's kind of cool if you have multiple monitors. So I use one monitor for presenting and then the other monitor that I'm doing other work on have other applications over that are supporting my presentation. So here I have both screens and of course all you see is the, the uh, what do you see there? You just see the bridge. You don't see anything else. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to enable that feature on 
um, go to webinar that lets you see all the controls. So now the webcam is going to pop up, and of course you can see the dashboard that you normally use for GoToWebinar. Let me move my screen. We'll just go to this monitor here so you just see that for now. Okay, so maybe that's a little bit easier to see. And down here you can see the chat window, so I can click that chat and drag it out. And the webcam, of course, is here. So what I'm going to do is move those over to my other monitor so I'll show you the other monitor and drag of course those over to here and of course you see the fonts really small I don't know if that's too small for you but it's certainly small and so what I can do now is go to display settings and click here and drag so remember I said close that window. You want to close that window. You notice the chat box got bigger. You also notice that my desktop image changed. Every time you adjust the resolution on your monitor, it's going to change the, um, it's going to change your background picture. Well, the way I have it set up, of course, if your background picture doesn't rotate. So the next thing you need to do is to go to PowerPoint and go to your slideshow, set up slideshow and browse by an individual window. You see I've got that selected. Now if I had it in speaker full view, you can see use presenter and multiple screens are there. But when I click browse, this grays out. So you won't be able to see it on the other monitor, which, which is fine. So then I can present that. I want to resize that. Let me show you a little trick. If you click the corner and just drag up, you'll see, I don't know if you saw the little blue circle, but Windows will will lock it to that corner. So the upper right hand side is locked to that corner. Now what I want to do is click the left side and drag that down. And so you can see that I've got bars on the side or um, letter box on the top and bottom. What I want to do, this is the normal presentation where you've got all the wasted real estate on the right and left side. What I want to do is drag that until I get exactly perfect there. So I've got no, no lines on the side, no lines on the bottom. I'm using maximum real estate, not, not wasting anything. So I'll take my webcam, make that a little bit bigger so people can see me. And then what else will I do? I've got to change the chat and I'll move the chat up here a little bit bigger. Of course, um, you may have your question, you may prefer to use your questions box over there. It depends on if you have everybody as organizers or panelists. And um, that's it. That's a simple uh, way to do this using no special software other than what you already have. And I hope that it's useful for you. Thank you very much for your